Gabriola Island is about 57 square kilometers in size. It's dotted with coastal Douglas fir forest ecosystems, sandstone bays with dramatic rock formations, and beautiful oceanside parks where you can pause and stretch your eyes as you gaze upon the Salish Sea. Down here we have the Descanso Regional Park and the Cox Community Park behind it, which connect into a network of uh, local um, trail license areas as well. But up until about a dozen years ago, very little had been set aside for public use. The Gabriel Land Trails Trust was established by a group of uh, fairly proactive folks back in 2004. At that point in time, Gabriel had about less than 2% of uh, preserved land mass, land base, and uh, in park, and uh, we really wanted to increase that. It was the second lowest of the Gulf Islands at that time. The goal of the charitable society was to establish a continuous system of public trails so you could literally hike from one end of the island to the other. I am a rider, I have a horse, and uh, our trails were disappearing as the island got more populated, for sure. And uh, so it, it was important to try and be proactive about that. It wasn't something that we felt our elected government was going to do for us while we sat back and twiddled our thumbs. So, so uh, it was really important to feel like we could make a difference. The time was right and uh, we got some interested landowners on board and uh, now, the last time I checked, we were about 11% of our land base in preserved land, parks and trails. Galt works with landowners to establish trail licenses where it provides the liability insurance when private landowners allow public trail access on their property. We can, can get from one end to the other in our, on our special walks with landowners permission for a couple of the gaps and we're working on those gaps but pretty much you can walk from uh, Descanso Bay where the ferry comes in to uh, Drumbeg Park, Silver Bay with uh, mostly on trails and a little bit of secondary road. Um, access, so it's pretty good. Galt trail work parties maintain the paths and build boardwalks or bridges when needed. Uh, trail development and trail maintenance is a huge piece of the effort for sure. We've uh, been blessed by really keen volunteers who have come out every second Sunday for years to do trail building and trail maintenance throughout the island. The Society has put together a waterproof trail map drawn by one of their members that can be purchased around town and helps the Society raise funds to support their efforts. Showing all of the, the uh, walks in red on Gabriola. We're now on our you know, fourth or fifth edition map uh, that has grown over time, uh, describing where the trails are and walking loops on those trails. Lots of them are trails that connect to beach accesses and walk along the beach and come up somewhere else. Uh, lots of trails in our big uh, community parks. Uh. And for the technology minded, there's even an interactive GPS based Gabriola trail map. And it shows you where you are and uh, uh, most of the mapped trails on the island and you can uh, find that through our uh, Gabriola Land and Trails Trust website. Gabriola Land and Trails Trust welcomes new members and new volunteers to support their effort for the enjoyment of everyone. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.